So listen, lately I've been hearing a lot of Jokic slander, or hate shall you say. Now people have given him his praise, but it's an overwhelming amount of hate lately. And to me, I think it's much undeserved and it's undeniable that Jokic is a top player in the NBA right now and could possibly be the best center or big man, whatever you would like to call it. Over the past days, people have also took jabs at Jokic by saying he didn't do anything in the All-Star game and that proves he has no skill or that he is just not as good as other bigs. Now, this won't be all we cover today, but first, let me address this. The fact of that is that it is far from the truth. Nikola Jokic plays a game of chess while he's on the court, while others play checkers. So when you play in a game like the All-Star game, it doesn't allow you to manipulate the defense or play a game of cat and mouse with them. The All-Star game shows an individual skill set without a defense that's really present, aka in easier terms we can call this a talent show. Jokic approaches the game in a strategical and to the most serious degree and he's just not able to turn that switch off. So that's why this year we see Jokic averaging numbers of 26 points per game, 13.8 rebounds per game, and 7.9 assists per game. Jokic is also on pace to have a career high in field goal percentage and three point percentage this year. He's shooting at 57% from the field, which is only 0.8 lower than his career high. And he's also shooting at 37.2% from the three this year, which is just 2.4 lower than his career high as well. So that makes Jokic a passer, playmaker, and a floor spacer for the Denver Nuggets. And now let's pinpoint some skills that Jokic has that helps him in the league. First, I would like to talk about Jokic's post game. Jokic is one of the only few bigs that still has a traditional style of big man play, and that is back to the basket. Jokic can use many of his moves in his back downs. He can use the post fadeaway, post spin moves, and he also has nice post hooks as well. When he is able to get switches and have smaller guards on him, even if he catches the ball higher up, Jokic will exploit the mismatch and back them down and finish with one of his signature moves. Jokic shoots 58% in the paint and 71% in the restricted area and also shoots 49% from the mid range, which he can shoot very well off the dribble. So it's safe to say that when Jokic gets to these spots, it's a scary position for the defense to be in and they will have to figure out how to play this, which takes me in to my next point. If they figure out how to stop the scoring, next is Jokic's passing. Jokic can throw entry post passes, dish it to cutters going to the rim, outlet passes, and even passes off the pick and roll. Unlike most big men, Jokic has the eyes of a point guard. With looking to get his teammates the ball, Jokic can always put the pass on the money and put his team in the best position to score. With him being a back to the basket and face up post player, Jokic does invite those double teams to him. Defenses that think if he has his back facing them, they can then trap him, which it isn't a bad idea if it was a regular big man, but Jokic is already anticipating the defense to do this, so he's already scanning the floor with his peripheral view, ready to find open teammates. Not only that, if Jokic is to face up and then take the defender head on, he has his head up and he can see the oncoming help defense. At that exact time, when he sees the defense coming, he's able to get his teammate an easy layup or find a teammate for a wide open jumper just based off his vision let alone. Again, last but not least, we want to talk about pace and IQ with Jokic. Everything brings this together for Jokic. In a league that's fast paced and very flashy, Jokic uses very sound fundamentals that take him very far. Even though he doesn't have the best handles like a point guard, Jokic can still find the right spots off a of pick and roll to find teammates, take the dribble there, get it to him, or get to his spot and knock down these shots. He never gets sped up, he just scans the floor patiently until the defense has a collapse, and then he will in turn exploit that. Jokic is great at manipulating the defense as his team is running plays. Often you will think that the ball is supposed to go elsewhere, and Jokic is already ahead of the defense, remember I said, playing chess, not checkers. And then he will zip it in spaces that the defense thought was once covered. Also, you'll notice him slip screens when the defense is set to defend it, which will get him easy layups, and if the second line of help is there, here comes his IQ into play, he can make the correct decision. All in all, Nikola Jokic is a basketball master 
mind. And when playing on the court where it feels like everyone is playing at recess, Jokic can take over and show just how great he is. Now look, this was the first official analysis of a player on this channel. Why did I pick Nikola Jokic? Well, Nikola Jokic, he plays at a great pace to me. He's very fun to watch when you actually can sit down and watch a game of Jokic pass, just play the game, control the ball, do everything he does on the offensive end, even though he isn't the greatest defensive player, but I will say he's not a liability on defense. Jokic's hands, long arms, big frame, he can get in there and put up a good contest, throw some shots out of the paint, and do some things down there on that end, but the offensive side of the ball is where Jokic is really a mastermind as I have said and it's very beautiful to watch how he plays so if you would like to check out more videos that contain breakdowns of players where we break down some actual game footage along with some basic stats those are the rest of the videos on my channel at the moment more analysts are to come so stay tuned for those I hope you all have a great rest of your day it's your boy two shoddy and we out